Good morning. Good morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. Good. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to some friends of mine from St. Gregory's Parish, the Thomas family. Good to have you with us. And uh, you were playing in the basketball game the other day, weren't you? Yeah. It's good to see you. Welcome. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. It's a whole new year. Unwrap it like a gift. And we'd like to have January uh, birthdays on the first Sunday of January. So if you have a birthday in January and would like to celebrate it, please stand so we can join you in your birthday. January birthdays. Uh, we've got to have some. One over there. One here. One there. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, January birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless you. tomorrow, but uh, we'll have a Mass at 9 a.m., and so you're welcome to join that. The calendar planning meeting for the parish staff is scheduled for this Tuesday, January 3rd, and the parish and family faith formation offices will be closed so we can make sure all the organizations have their rooms and their times in the coming year. The Women's Club meets Tuesday at 7 p.m., Families of those who were baptized last year have been invited to attend Mass on January 7th and 8th, next Saturday and Sunday, to receive a special blessing and to receive also their baptismal cross. On Sunday, January 15th, during the 11 a.m. Mass, we will celebrate baptisms. The Josephite calendars, the magnetic calendars, and the pocket calendars are available in the back of the church. We don't have the regular parish can, uh, calendars yet. They should be coming in this week. Received a rebate check from Kroger's for our purchasing uh, of their uh, items in the amount of $880. So thank you for your support of the Kroger Rewards Program. Also, we received a great deal of support from the Myers stores for our Christmas uh, gift giving and baskets for the families in need. So we thank both of those local, uh, they're not grocery stores anymore, what do you call them? Super centers, I guess. They received support from both of them in this coming uh, past year. This past week we celebrated a funeral mass for Martha Ann Racy Laporte. And on Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. we will celebrate a funeral mass for Jeanette Wallacek. Friday, we will celebrate a funeral mass for Louis Eisbrenner. Saturday, a funeral mass will be scheduled for Betty Pierce at 10 a.m. And Bill Wall's funeral will take place on Saturday at 12.15. And so please keep Martha, Jeanette, Louis, Betty, Bill, and their families in your prayers. And of course, we remember the people of Ukraine and other parts of the world where there's such war and violence and killing of people and also for the uh, victims of abortion as we celebrate the new year, praying that they will be given a new birth into this world. So let's pray for those who have died. Eternal rest grant upon them, O Lord. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's stand in faith and be ready to greet the Lord as Mary did on this feast of Mary, the mother of God.
Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo, Gloria in excelsis Deo, shepherds why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? Say what may the tidings be which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria in excelsis Deo. Come to Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels sing. Come adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. Gloria in excelsis day. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid while our hearts in love we raise. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and our communion in the Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today as we celebrate the feast of Mary, the Mother of God, we do so with an openness and a willingness to hear God's word as she did, changing her own life plans to follow God's plan for her. That happens to us as well. And so we pray for an openness to God's word today that we might know the direction our lives should take in this new year of 2023. And we pray for the openness to God's peace, love, and joy as we begin our celebration today. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison, Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, help us to forgive those who have wronged us, and bring us all and always to everlasting life. Amen. And so we join the angels and saints once more in giving glory to our God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, 
we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. O God, through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary, you bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation. Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of the one through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God with us forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So they shall invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. 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 May God be gracious and bless us and let his face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. May God bless us in his mercy. 
May God bless us in his mercy. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing that all the ends of the earth may revere him. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. After the birth of the child Jesus, the shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. 
When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Take up thy cross and follow me, I heard my master say. I gave my life to ransom thee, surrender your all today. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. He drew me closer to his side. I sought his will to know. And in that will I now abide. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so, wherever he leads, I'll go. My heart, my life, my all I bring to Christ who loves me so. He is my master, Lord and King, wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. That might seem like an unusual song to begin this feast of Mary, the mother of God, but it came to me that Mary was certainly the mother of God, but she was also a disciple. And she had to learn to follow Jesus wherever he led her, just as she had to decide to follow her son. And she followed him wherever he led her and the people who heard his word and saw his life in action. And we try to do the same. Wherever he leads, we'll go. We'll follow our Christ who loves us so. Wherever he leads, we'll go. And as this new year unfolds for us, like a gift to be unwrapped, we don't know what's inside of it, but we do know that whatever is inside of it will be a gift of God, and it will be filled with promise and with struggles, with tears and with laughter and joy. And through it all, God will provide for us as he did for Mary when she said yes to his invitation to be the mother of his son. The scriptures today give us a fine message for the new year upon us. The first reading gives us a great blessing for the beginning of 2023. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. 
This blessing was used by the leaders of Jewish prayer at the end of the prayer time that gathered the people together. It is given to us today as a prayer of hope and consolation in time when we surely need a blessing. In the reading from Paul to the Galatians, we find the reason for the name of today's feast, Mary the Mother of God. When the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. Born of a woman, that is, the title of Mary, the mother of God, was used from the beginning of the church to identify the role of Mary in God's plans for us. Since Jesus is our brother, we are the adopted sons of God. This language is not sexist, though it could seem so in a time when we are sensitive to inclusive language. In the culture of the time, the eldest son always received the family inheritance. And so since we are the children of God, we are all sons of God, receiving the inheritance of faith, regardless of our gender. And if you are a son, then also you are an heir through God. We all would like to receive a certain inheritance from our relatives or friends, especially if it is a surprise. And this inheritance we have been given by God is the great inheritance of faith of those ancestors who have struggled to share the faith and to live it through all kinds of troubles and turmoil in their lives, and they have persisted. And we are grateful for their trials and the fact that they have made us followers of Christ all the way to our eternal life. The gospel confirms our identity by giving us a name for the coming year. The name is Jesus, which means God is our Savior in whatever the new year brings us. All who heard it were amazed at what had been told them by the shepherds. What had been told them was that Jesus is the Son of God. He's also the Son of Mary, the Mother of God. And they were amazed that God should act in this way. But Jesus didn't just drop down from heaven. He came through the birth of a, a child through a mother, and he was given the father of father of all creation, and so we all are sons and daughters of a loving God. Simple and poor, the shepherds were given the great privilege to announce the meaning of the birth of this child. Just as the birth of a child holds both joy and challenge, so too does the gift of this new year hold the same for us. When we see a child, we are struck, first of all, by the miracle of birth, and we can't help but wonder, what will this child become, especially as they grow into their own identity and resist the efforts of some adults to follow their will, and yet they try to learn to follow the will of God for them. Take Jesus with us as we enter this new year, looking for the peace that only God can give. Learning from Mary the gift of patient prayer as we wait to discover what God has prepared for us. Mary said yes to God, but she didn't know what that would exactly mean. She didn't know at the time that it would mean traveling from Bethlehem to Egypt to live in a foreign country for a time while Herod uh, carried out his threats to be killing all the young children who were born at the time of Jesus. And finally, they did return to Nazareth, where she lived the normal life of a mother and a woman of faith. She didn't have the conveniences we have today for washing clothes and dishes and cooking, and she would have had the rough hands of a woman who was used to work, and yet she knew that God had chosen her to be the mother of God's son, and so, we too look to this new year, not sure what it will be when we open it, except we know that God makes all things work together for good for those who love the Lord. Loving God with Mary, the mother of your son, 
we reflect on the meaning of his birth and its importance for human history, for the salvation of all humanity. Simple shepherds were among the first to be invited by angels to go to Bethlehem to find Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. In their humble heritage, these shepherds were the ones who carried the message found in the midst of the great joy of discovering the child who would be named Jesus. They saw and believed that God had truly visited his people and came to live as one of us forever. Glory to God in the highest. Amen, amen, amen. It is with great faith that we, like Mary, unwrap the gift of this new year, not knowing what will be inside of that gift, but knowing that God will always be with us. And so we profess, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray now for those who have asked us to remember them and for those we have yet to remember. Our response will be sung by the congregation. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. We thank God for Pope Benedict XVI and his great gift of service to the church. May his soul rest in peace. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and religious men and women, may they be strengthened by God's grace as they face the challenges of the new year. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they will seek equality and peace for all people as they enact just laws. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may effectively proclaim to the world the divinity of Christ and the special role of our Blessed Mother. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For the lonely and neglected, may they be encouraged by our prayers and concern for them. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For an 
end to the war in Ukraine and that peace may come to all parts of our troubled world. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For those who are ill and in need of our prayers, Father Ron Kazawa, Mary Crick, Paulette Mosqua, Father Fred Pruce, Fred Hudson, may they find strength and hope and experience God's love. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For the recently deceased, Luke Barron, Judith Allen, Edward Biber, Louis Ensbrenner, William Galen, Sister Rosemarie Kuyaka, Martha Ann Racy Laporte, Betty Pierce, Kelly Trombley, Bill Wall, Gordon Witten, Jeanette Woloshik. May they dwell in Christ's abundant love for eternity. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For further intentions requested at this Mass, Dan Kenner, Mary Kristen, Delphine Ronsky, for all mothers to follow the mother of God's example to trust God, for victims of violence and terrorism, for first-line responders, for the men and women in the armed forces and veterans, and for the people of St. Margaret of Scotland. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. For unspoken needs and intentions, we take a few moments of quiet prayer. All creation, raise your voices. Child of Mary, hear our prayer. And we conclude all these prayers with the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our 
Lady of Chestohova, pray for us. Our Lady of the Desert, pray for us. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, Mary conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, she brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we proclaim this hymn of joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. 
that all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, in whom we too have become your sons and your daughters. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon this offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you that we may gain an inheritance with all your saints, especially as we join once more in prayer with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, and with Joseph, her spouse with your blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, all of our patron saints, St. Margaret, St. Gregory, blessed Father Salamis Casey, blessed Father Michael McGivney, the patron saints of our family of parishes, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your program church on earth as we join in prayer with Francis our Pope, Alan our Bishop, and all those who love, who lead, who serve, who shepherd and teach your entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have gathered here before you. In mercy and in love, unite all your people scattered throughout the world. 
and to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who served you in this life, at their passing from this life, please give them kind admittance to your kingdom. For by your word and by your promise, we hope and pray to see them again, to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Recognizing Mother of God, we pray now as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Share that peace with one another. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace, grant us peace, grant us peace, grant us peace. Grant
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life.
There is nothing told about this woman but that she had once become engaged. And an angel addressed her and said, You are blessed among all your kind. On this day all earth and all paradise Join in naming you happy and blessed. Virgin Mary, blessed are you. There is nothing told about this woman but that she had brought into the world. In the land of Judea, her son, for some shepherds have passed on this tale. On this day all earth and all paradise join in naming you happy and blessed. Virgin Mary, blessed are you. There is nothing told about this woman but that she had searched for three long days for her child who was busy elsewhere. And her heart then did not understand. On this day all earth and all paradise join in naming you happy and blessed. Virgin Mary, blessed are you. There is nothing told about this woman, but that she at Cana was a guest, and that Jesus changed water to wine, so that all might believe who was. On this day all earth and all paradise join in naming you happy and blessed. Virgin Mary, blessed are you. There is nothing told about this woman but that she was standing by the cross when her son stretched his arms out on high and met death with a thief on each side. On this day all earth and all paradise join in naming you Virgin Mary, blessed are you. There is nothing told about this woman, but that she was one in prayer with those upon whom tongues of fire did descend, and the Spirit baptized them with flame. On this day all earth and all paradise join in naming you happy and blessed. Virgin Mary, blessed are you. And for those who are live streaming this Mass, and for those among us who did not receive Holy Communion sacramentally, we pray this prayer for spiritual communion. Please repeat after me and join me as we pray this prayer. O loving God, o loving God in, union with your whole church, in union with your whole church, 
I desire to offer you thanks and praise. I desire to offer you thanks and praise. Since I cannot now, Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come into my heart spiritually. Giving me the joy. And the blessing. And blessing of your loving presence. Of your loving presence. In, life and in, death, in life and in death. May nothing ever separate us. Nothing from one another. And grant, us your peace. and grant us your peace. In the name of Jesus we pray. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We have shared this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. This past Friday was the Feast of the Holy Family, and it seems appropriate that we would have this blessing for our families today, so we'll take a few quiet moments to think of our families, whether they're with us or absent from us, whether they're living or deceased, but let's take a few moments to think of our family members and thank God for their blessings. We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that as he lived its life, he would experience the joys and the worries of family life. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over our families, so that in the strength of your grace, our members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and as the church alive in the home, Bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A blessed and happy new year. It's truly a gift that we have to unwrap. And I know God will have some surprises in this year. But at the end of it, we can say thanks be to God. So the Lord be with you. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with us forever. Amen. Go and live and celebrate this new year in Jesus Christ. Thanks. Thanks.
let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my song.